So now let's work with ambient occlusion with hidden objects. So I'm going to go over here into the scene setup right here and I'm going to bring in an object. Uh, so let's say in the models, I'm going to go over here and select something uh, like this tin can right here. So now what I want to do is I want to enable um, the um, ambient occlusion, but I do not uh, I do not want to import any objects, any other 3D objects, but I want to, it to be seen in the composition window itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of the plane. So I'm just going to increase the size of the plane right here. Let's increase the size of the plane where I can work with my matte shadow just like that. So you can see that this is my object. So I'm going to uh, just go over here into the plane model because I just want the shadows to be visible here. So I'm going to go into the, uh, to the plane model. I'm going to click on default and I'm going to scroll down. So I'm going to scroll down and turn on matte shadow just like that. So the object is actually invisible. So I'm going to press OK now and I can see that the object is there. So now what I'm going to do is create a camera and I'm going to rotate this around. So I'm just going to rotate this around, zoom it in uh, so that you can see it. So right now uh, you don't see anything right here. So you don't see any uh, of the you, you don't see any shadows right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, the uh, render settings right here. And inside of render settings, I'm going to go into the ambient occlusion. And once I go there, I'm going to click on enable it. So now you can see that there's actually um, an ambient occlusion over here. So you can see that there's a bit of a shadow right here. So I can increase the shadow intensity right here, the in, uh, occlusion intensity. And you can see that now it actually comes it up as the shadow. So what I did was as uh, the plane object was placed over here and match shadow was turned on, now my element 3D um, actually takes it as an object itself and it projects the, um, the ambient occlusion onto the surface just like that. So this really helps in creating a realistic effect inside of element 3d models hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe